Hello and welcome back. I'm Bball Joe and this is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today, I have some little different plan for you and we're doing a lot more progress than usual. Welcome back everyone. Um, this will be a little clicky for a little while because we need to have people moving in here and we need a lot of people moving in because there's a lot of jobs to take here. I don't have time to set these up to um, start making food for us and the food industri industrial uh, complex over here because the rail is still not done on that side. So that's not going to happen. However, we do need all of these workers here to build our new steel complex that we set up last time. And I am really, really excited about that. I'm so excited about that that I already set up the construction zone for where we're going to go. And instead of making you sit through every single detail of building that whole industry, what this building has a power supply right there. Um, I will simply give you a time lapse of how we set that up. Right now, we don't have any buses or any people working in this area up here. As you can see, there's a lot to construct here. There's a lot to construct here, and just in general, there's a lot going on. I haven't set up all of these, but I have... Excuse me? I'm pretty sure I just deleted this, everything from that line. Um, yeah, I have that construction zone there. So let's tell it to go from that city, the one I just populated, all the way to here, and go. How many of these do we need? Well, I have four. That was enough earlier, so that's what we're going to do this time. This always wants me to use um, line spacing, which you can activate in a cheat mode. It works for buses. It really works for buses really well at the beginning. The problem is everything that goes on over here, because there are so many vehicles just running around that if I would turn, I mean, you see this lagging, that's because pathfinding. I have so many vehicles running around everywhere that if I would turn on um, the line spacing, I think I would go crazy. This, I haven't even looked at that. This is the result of um, the universities I set up because now we have smart people living in zone four and they're getting dropped off by trains here en masse. And that's awesome, love it. So our ships are actually gonna get done. I have all the delivery setup system that we have our construction crews actually having some um, units that they will need. But honestly, for the near future, the thing that I need the most will simply be a bunch of cranes. And we still have a construction office there and a construction office there. A bunch of cranes and just general flattening and ironing out everything. And once all of that is done, we can worry about the rest. I do not actually want to start building um, the steel complex. Why do I not want to build that? Pretty simple. Once any of these buildings are built, there is a chance we will catch a fire. And once we have a fire, we have a real problem because I only have the one little fire station here. Someone pointed out that this fire station does not need heat. I believe you are correct. And they thought that was cheating. I don't think that's cheating yet. I feel like it's a little unfortunate, but the big fire station does not fit everywhere. I know it only has one more fire truck space, but I don't even need that. I just need a fire station near my building. So I'm, I will continue using this. I understand if you don't want to, but I just have nothing but good experience with that. I actually found that we had a couple of concrete trucks that um, have that are American um, that are a little bigger. They have 14 tons instead of 12, so that's great. I haven't actually set up any of these, so let's do that real quick. You can go there. You can pick up everything from here. I should probably limit the amount of things. Electronic. Yep. These these two are the only two that we want right now. Then this guy is asphalt and concrete. And this guy is just general construction. Um, there's a bus can pick up from there and a bus that we can just get pick up from here i'm splitting out the buses this time i want to see if that makes a real difference and if it does that's cool if it doesn't that's cool i have a feeling we're going to require a lot of workers here and i think the city is close enough that we can actually run four buses for these offices so all of this is set up I have this set up so that the rail comes out here, so I don't forget about that because I am kind of thinking 
I may add another offload for coal and an offload for iron on this side, but also I need a um, coal power plant. Sorry, not coal power plant, that's silly. I need a um, heating plant out here, at least one, maybe even two. And we have so much coal in this area, I just have to figure out where the best place is to put it. Um, maybe I don't want to use another cableway here because we're now using five and they're going to take up a lot of space. I think the rest of the workplaces will have to be reached by buses, I hope. That's that's my plan, at least. Anyways, everything is signed up. Uh, signed up, I said. Everything is assigned. We need to get up on this mountain. That's probably the second thing I need to do. The first thing I want to do is set up the city with five cableway stations and a couple bus stations um, all the way around so we can actually get things done. And I think this is the size of the city that we want. We remember 4,500 people is what we need for just the steel industry, for the mines, for all that stuff. Plus, I'm probably going to add another couple hundred for um, the coal, coal heating plants. So let's call that 4,700. Let's just call it 5,000 is what I need to um, just make everything work. Plus another 2,000 probably as a buffer for auxiliary um, shopping centers. Um, just things that you need to run inside the city and all that stuff. The one thing I want to try here is put the um, public transports on the outside of the city mostly. So the cableways for the mines will be on this side and the cableways for the steel plant will be on this side. But we'll see how that goes. So there will be a city center with just the the um, city requirements and the rest will be on the outside. That was the city. I think I counted about 35 buildings. All of them have 179 and 189 spots. I only have one large um, shopping center and I hope that will be enough, but I have all the cableways and, and there can be, there's more room on this side to add more people. I have a couple bus stations in here. I'm hoping having them will enable me to transport people between the cable stations if I have to. I think that's a good option. Um, throw one in here, just... We probably don't need that, there's a bus station right there. No, let's leave it out. Let's not add more stations than we absolutely have to. But yeah, this should be fine. I'm not anticipating that all the buildings over here can reach all the cableways, and I don't actually need them. All I need them to do is actually 
um, work in all the places that are already in the center of the city. So this is really the first setup. There's no heating plant right now. There's no, there are no peripherals. Let's, let's call it that way. So I will plan on that next. And once I have those in, I will start looking into uh, placing, what are they called? <laughs> Getting connected to the mines. That will be a big task. So let's get started. Sorry. I thought I was going to do something, but then I just did a quick map. If I have about 35 of the large buildings and a bunch of medium buildings in between there, or um, other buildings, the water tanks are only 12 and 13 cubic meters, which 35 times 13 is just close to 500. It is not that much, and I have three heat exchangers here that should supply 900 cubic meters of heat. So even if the shopping center, see what that one does, uh, 22 cubic meters, but it's only one. So all the residential buildings together are less than 600. I think one extra heat exchanger should supply enough for another um, 300 units. So we should be fine on that front. The power one is a one that I'm not that worried about. I'd rather place that later on when all the roads are in because I don't want to place the wires anyways before the roads are all done. So that's great. I have this connected so the construction office can actually start on everything on that side. I still don't want to start on this until we actually have people here because the city is right now more important than getting the steel done. Okay, now up here this will be a little harder because we actually need a road to get up here once we have the road we need to connect everything else so bear with me wish i would have shown you that in real time um a bridge to go up a hill i think that's fine this bridge is not even ridiculously high that was maybe the easiest connection to a mountain that i've ever made so far there's still the thing of actually connecting the cableways but i'm hoping that won't be as complicated as this part so wish me luck <laughs> expected a lot more resistance besides this one guy over here let me turn the camera back on i think now's a good time to do that yeah no i was really surprised how well this went this bridge again is fine all these guys went in and i don't know if you saw that i just pointed them against each other and then uh plopped in the roads in between and then after I put a couple down, I remembered that if you hit R, it's a 90 degree um, rotation every time. So it makes it a little easier. You don't have to use your scrolling wheel perfectly. Oh. Yeah, and everything went through. I wasn't sure if they were going to get past the high voltage lines, but no problem here. So instead of doing the exact same thing again, I will try to talk you through what I'm actually trying to do or what I'm doing here on the last one, because it will be similar but maybe there's something somebody can actually learn here. And we have three poles in this case, instead of just two. So I can't just point them directly um, at each other. I will actually have to do, I don't know. I hope not. I don't want to say something clever because that's not really what I do. 
but let's see how this goes. These have to start turning really sharp right away, so... Let's hope this works. RR. Uh, yep, as far as you can. There you go. There you go. And... I do need them to kind of start aligning at some point, otherwise I will have other issues. I will not try to go on this rock. If you don't know this, terraforming on a rock is possible. It is incredibly slow. Like, if you complain about how bad the terraforming usually is, do not try to terraform a rock. I don't know if you have tried that in real life, but in this game, you would rather watch paint dry. There's nothing, excite, uh, nothing exciting about um, terraforming a rock. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. So I will attempt to go around the mountain. <sighs> See, I do want to go around the mountain, but the mountain already starts raising up here, and I believe that's going to cause me a lot of headache. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I am not positive this is going to go smoothly at all. Pull this out a little bit because I'm already... I'm assuming... Okay, I can play the trick with really short pieces, maybe. Alright, this will do. Let's actually double check that all of the ones that are already placed can be connected through some... Me what? Is, how did... No. Don't do this. Do... Connect that. Good. Connect... This. Good. And then connect this. Yeah, do that. Easy enough. Connect this, come out a little bit, connect that. Great. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm not sure which, which all I pointed at each other, so... I don't know. Let's just try to make this work. You come through here. Some other infrastructure, yeah, there's there's a wire. Maybe this is easier to place later on when the wires are actually in the air and I can see something. But as long as you stay somewhere in between um, everything, it should be fine. So yeah, all of these are placed and look like I can connect them or I can get to them, so that's good. Now the more complicated one. I need to get three past this edge. I will try my best. To get this down a little bit so it's a little flatter for me to actually do something but yeah once you get to these rocks you actually get those red little dots inside the green dots that just means do not just don't don't attempt don't even don't don't even try a little bit it's not not worth it so i'm trying to do this on on the dirt if i need more room i will take the road out that's next to this it's that road is not important um there's nothing vital currently happening there besides getting new workers here but i can also put another gravel road somewhere in a different location so if there are sacrifices to be made that will be the first one no question yeah, let's try to get this low sometimes i have the wireframe on and as you can see all, all this red stuff is just stay away from it this corner will be pretty bad most likely i don't think this road is going to stay where it is Actually, I will just get rid of it right now. It's not worth the fight to try to get around that. But over here, I think I can actually fit three next to each other. And that's really all I'm going for. And let's try to get them about level with the road. Maybe I should have leveled a little higher, but that's what we're going to try. We'll see how that goes. I do hope you guys liked the time lapse that I'm planning to make out of um, everything that came before and that may come after. Did I actually place that? I don't think I placed. Yeah, we are on the edge of the mountain here and I don't... I'm, I'm already scared of how this is going to go. Okay. RR. Turn them around. And these I will try to connect right away, otherwise I will just regret it. Yeah, that one's already not playing along. Not surprised. So, let's fix that. If you don't do this, if you finish everything, you know that the um, cableway poles 
connect the lines automatically when you place them the first time. But it doesn't mean that if you remove one, move it a little further, that your poles are still going to be in the same... Not location, but in the same um, vicinity. If everything is still reachable, so you may... Oh, come on. There we go. You may not be happy if you do that. This works. Too sharp a turn. Excuse you. Still too sharp. Oh, come on. We can do this. This is always a trick that you can usually use. If the road is being funky, you should be able... I didn't think this was very high. Okay, if you can't connect short pieces of road, you usually can find a way... Uh, usually, I say, not all the time, to connect them um, if you go a little longer. I don't think it's going... There's one. You can sometimes, not all the times, find an angle that lets you connect things the way you want them to be. There's one. There's green. Too steep. No. No. Come on. Come on. You can do this. I believe in you. Um, if you don't want to connect there, I will allow that. <laughs> Maybe this would have been better as a, as a time lapse. So that's connected there. This will connect here. I don't... That's okay. This is okay. If it does want to play along right now, I will make it. See? No problem. Just looks a little funky. But that is totally alright. Take this back just a tiny bit so we actually have some space. And now I'm going to take this one as the lead. Because I know that will be my first problem getting around the mountain. So... Nope, I want you here. I do not want you to raise this. If anything, all of this needs to be lower. <laughs> yeah, they already stopped. They can't... They can't push that dirt any lower against that rock. So let's try this again. Yeah, no, they, they want to raise it. Maybe I just have to raise that whole area. Not really what I'm going for. Also, I didn't turn this one at all. Let's try that again. Like this is what I need. That is too steep. I, I can see that right away. Um, that one should be a problem. And this one should also really just work. Please connect right away. This one. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think I have a chance, but we got something going here. There we go. Just wiggle a little bit until it does what you need. This may require some extra poles in this area, which, if that is my only problem, that is not really a problem at all. Let's... I guess I could go back here. Because we... Why do I connect it to all as gravel roads? It's not necessary, but I've never seen a cableway um, catch fire, but if it ever does, I am prepared and my firefighters can actually get to it. Wrong button. Thank you. Um, there we go. Have our infrastructure in the way. Wow. I am very, so far, I am very, very lucky. And build due to infrastructure. Yes. I'm not surprised by that. Let's see. Can I raise this up a little bit? So the cables are a little higher. And place this one? Yes, I can. And I will just place this across from here. That's fine. And this one can now be its own thing on this side. I should be able to place one here angle too high there we go uh the road didn't look like it was gonna go in there so put that there infrastructure infrastructure i don't think this is strictly necessary because i think we can get out from here so let's put the cable way there i know this is riveting stuff but i don't think many people actually use the cable ways or not as many people as i would think should use cableways so if there's something here 
that someone has not seen before, I think this is totally worth showing. Let's connect somewhere. Yeah, like that. And then you connect there. Beautiful. So yeah, now I can have the outside one just run next to the road and the inside two hopefully um, finish out right here. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have to take this road away. And if I do, I do. It's just going to be how it is. Um, why don't you <laughs> connect to the one that I want you to connect to? I could also do this. I could go to the outside. Some infrastructure is in the way, so that one didn't connect, even though it pretended like it did. Because look how tiny this is. It's not as wide as those three, so that's not going to work. One, two, three. In uh, infrastructure. Yep, I, I can see it. But... Mm, here's what we're going to do. It is kind of what I said earlier. Um, I just should have probably done this sooner. I didn't think I could actually pick this off, but apparently there's a node right in this area because there were a couple trucks on there that usually mean I can't delete a piece of road if there's a truck on there. But that worked. Um, leave this here, maybe. Disconnect the cableway because we know this is the area that we actually need the cableways for. We need steel to work. Cool. Angle of connection is too sharp. Why did you not tell me that before I plopped it where it is? There. I pointed that the wrong way. There's no way I can connect that going to the outside. I need to go to the inside. These two. Oh, there's going to be some um, puzzle work here. Yes. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There's a chance I can lower some terrain here to make it work, but I don't want to rely on that before I'm done placing everything. So... Also, some of the infrastructure. There's so this building. Okay, if that is what we need to do, then that is what we need to do. Fine. Fine. Someone should be working on this. Do we have enough gravel here? Let's see. Um, yeah, we do have a lot of gravel here. You are gravel and crane. So I think if you just take on this, everything should be fine. Do this one. The source of gravel is empty. <laughs> oh, come on. This is just bad luck. Um, well, let me click it down here. And somewhere in here is a fire that was this conveyor belt. Yep, that's the conveyor belt. Um, it burned down. No, I am not going to auto. Uh, I'm not going to rebuild it entirely. I am just going to auto build that because I would like us to prog have progress, not just to not do anything. So that road they can build. This, all of this, no. We have a lot of dollars. Let's spend them and make something good happen. That was for rubles. That's okay. Now, those guys are like, yeah, we have stuff here, so let's use it. Great. Um, sorry, Bust. You, you can go back to where you need to go later on. Hope nothing else burned down. That's important. We have some fuel. So that's pretty good. 
I can't believe that burned down. I'm trying to be really careful not to have vulnerable areas where I don't have a fire station, but even that's not enough. You just have to have a fire station that is manned at the right time and in the right intervals. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Um, sure. I don't feel like these are going to do what I need them to do. Maybe? No, this is too high. This is too high. Which means I should be able to connect you to here. Good. But you are probably not going... Oh, no, you are. Never mind. And here's a little more of that. Yep, just, just be patient with your roads. Maybe... I, I really hope somebody learned something of how I built the roads here, because they are finicky, but they're not impossible. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't know why I placed it this way. I was hoping it could connect to these guys over here, but I was pretty sure it wouldn't. Ah, uh, great. Um, R, R, E, E, E. Looks good. And it looks like... Let's connect this one first. That looks fine. And then this one just goes just around the corner. That's the first one in. Now we can actually uh, separate our... Let's do this one. We can actually separate the cableways a little bit because... The cableway stations aren't as close together as the rest. I just kept them together so that we could get around this corner that we just finished. That was really the main goal. This one should really just be a very straight connection. Uh, essentially the road that we had before. So let's finish the second guy. Um, RR. E -E -E. This is that guy. And that road that is already there survived. Place your bets now, please. Um, that didn't help at all. <laughs> I I have a guess. I have a guess. You probably have a guess too. Will this road survive? I can't get any closer. Too steep of an incline. You are a cableway. Uh, so the answer is no, the road cannot survive because reasons, which means this cableway station may be fine. That may totally be fine. Okay. All the way up to steep on incline. Put it here. I would like to have the road running where I had it, mostly because it is, yeah, just here. It's a quick and easy way for passengers to get there. And that is important. Okay, so that one is there. Let's connect the rest of these. You go up. Oh, yes. I can connect this with two. That's what we're going to do. You are just... Negative Nancy, just not connecting the things that I needed to connect. Gee. All right. A couple more poles, and then we have all the worker supply that we could possibly ever want. Great. This one doesn't even complain. I'm going to guess I need two in here. As high as I can go. And here we are. Now everything is really, really, really connected. I guess I could have pointed them to the outside, but I didn't. Uh, let's go there, connect you here, connect you there. You can honestly be connected to this side, and that will be fine. Yeah, those are all cableway stations um, connected to everything that we needed around the mountain, and everything is fine. This road is almost done now. That will be good. So, honestly, this was in the end all I wanted to get done today. The rest... What's coming now is going to be a ton and ton of waiting because getting all of this constructed is going to take so much steel, so much other things. I still need to figure out how I want to connect the um, 
um, the heating plant. I would like... Where's my mouse? Mouse. There's my mouse. I would like to keep it in this area, really, but I would also like to run at least a couple rail connections here. So I can drop off coal or extra coal here, and I can drop off extra iron here. There's a couple things that I haven't completely figured out yet. Yes, you can drop off coal and iron in the in the plants, but there's only a limited, I think it's only 150 tons. That's not a full train. That's not a good, not a good um, solution, I don't think. So I would rather maybe even have a buffer set up over here. Wow. The, the full recording um, of everything I did today is barely an hour. I'm kind of surprised it's usually a full episode, but I guess there was a lot of time lapsing today. Let's pull this back a little bit. Maybe maybe I can get done what I wanted to get done anyways with, with the rail connections. This is what I want to do. Um, give me this guy. I think you know what I'm trying to achieve here. I just want to add an extra buffer for um, for coal and for iron. And then there's also going to be a coal power, uh, not coal, coal heating plant. I said that now four times, but I can still not say coal heating plant correctly. Great. So what? Stop trying to, stop, just stop trying to connect stuff. Not gonna happen. What we want is essentially something over here. We don't have a free excavator, really. Where are you all? <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that today. I'm going to let a bunch of stuff um, get constructed here, and I will figure out how I want to connect the rail. And, I mean, obviously the rail is already here. There's no rail currently going into the city. I am okay with that. I kind of planned it that way because I didn't want to waste uh, rail space because all the guys that are here are going to work in this area, as should be pretty uh, self-obvious. Ooh! One thing I haven't done yet, and I'm not going to make you sit through that because it's going to be very similar to what we already did, is connect the conveyor pipes to the rest of up here. So, <laughs> yeah. For now, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this kind of episode where I do a little more time lapse -y stuff, um, let me know. I will try to do that more. If you don't like this kind of episode, please let me know because then I will do it less or not at all. Um, but not too long ago, someone actually said that. Also... Today is actually the day I reached a thousand subscribers. Whoop, 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 whoop. So thanks everyone for supporting me, for helping me, for subscribing, and for sticking around and for watching my videos. That doesn't mean anything right now because I'm still waiting to get approved as a YouTube partner. And once I do that, I will try to play around with how ads work and how all that stuff works. I know if you have ad blocker on, that's fine. I don't think it will really matter for you at all then. But if you don't have ad blocker on, consider watching it. Um, maybe I get a couple pennies. I still have to pay off my computer and a couple other things. This is a hobby, but if I can make a little extra on the side. And if you like what I do, um, let's do that. I will also start thinking about Patreon stuff and other things like on the side. Maybe do an extra video there a week or every two weeks or more, more targeted stuff for anyone that wants to be a patreon member um so maybe if you have ideas there throw my way so i can consider them but that's it for now again thanks for watching subscribe and like and i'll see you again next time bye